We're going to kick off the final podcast. Is that right? Yes, of the year? technically this will be episode 207, the final podcast of 2021. And we're going to go back to the most important conversation or discussion or thought that we can have in most areas of our life, <laughs> and that is why. We're going to talk specifically about why calisthenics. And you know, if you know who Simon Sinek is, you'll have probably come across his uh, very famous TED talk about knowing your why. So if we understand what our why is, then we can understand why we do what we do, and we can probably get more enjoyment out of it. And when it gets hard, if we know what our why is, then we've got something really strong to lean on. So we're going to talk about why calisthenics today. And when we're talking about training, we're talking about calisthenics. We're talking about, um, you know, what do you want to be able to do with your body? Um, and there will be, you know, a whole host of things that you'll have, have seen if you're like us, where you get like excited about, right, I'm going to try and do these, do these things. And then it's like, right, we then start to potentially get frustrated when we don't see results straight away, or we see results on a few things. And then we think everything can happen really quickly. And the reality is, if you want to do some, some cool things with your body, you want to make some changes for your training. What's important is the invest time in making that process happen. And also we believe it's very important that we are following a process that we can trust. And that's what everything we've got inside our uh, online training programs for online members is all about. And the annual offer that we're running is 25% off either our standard membership or our VIP membership. The standard one makes it less than 75 quid for an entire year of training, giving you the opportunity to go, right, I'm leaving. It's not about quick fixes for me anymore. I understand what the guys are saying. I'm on board. And I'm going to commit to this for at least a year. You make that 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 in, the, the investment is in time, not in the money. It's 75 quid for a whole year of training is, is 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 not the challenge. The challenge is make that commitment in terms of the time you're going to invest in understanding your training with us and actually getting in and doing the work with us. But no, you've got a whole year to get through it. And there's far more in our online classroom than just the number of workouts that you're often going to find of just plug and play kind of things, do this workout today and have absolutely no no idea idea why you're doing what you're doing. See, it's on point where (laughs) we're going to have this conversation today. But we are actually, we're a school, right? So we've been, we put a lot of time and effort into creating... We're not an actual school just for people that don't. No, no, no. We're not an institution if someone wants to be off. We did used to get that actually. We would get, how do I get a scholarship to your school from people from abroad? We we said we're not really just making it up. (laughs) Anyway... But we did put a lot of content and like just snippets and little bits of kind of like sound bites that you can take throughout our training program. So as you go through our program, you're actually going to learn and get loads of really important, useful like tidbits that you can then apply to other parts of your training. So when you're not doing a human flag program, for example, you probably understand why time under tension or isometric strength is going to be important. And you can take that into whatever else it might be that you're going to go and train, whether that be deadlifts or like rack pulls or bench press or whatever it might be. They are just, it's full of training science. So if you're the sort of person that wants to train, wants to get really high quality workouts by expert coaches, but also wants to know what you're doing, there is probably no better platform for you in bodyweight training. I'll tell you what, Tim, not only 25% off, how about we give them seven days as part of a free trial so they can, you can test get it out. Get away. Come on. <laughs> right. Seven day free yeah, trial. I mean, so test it out for a week and then, you know, then you're yeah. in for a year. Let's talk about the why and then people can go on and start taking some action. Yeah. So sit back and enjoy us chatting about why it's going to get philosophical, pe- philosophical people on the Movement, Strength and Play podcast. Roll that jingle. Listen. Players, <laughs> you're listening to the Movement, Strength and Play podcast by the School of Calisthenics. Here are your hosts, Tim and Jacko. Go on then, Jacko, kick us off. Why calisthenics? Why calisthenics? And I, th- well, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a super interesting question. It's a, there's something that I think I, I totally agree with you in that, like, the understanding why is important, but understanding like what what is it about it that's important to you and then also and this is what i want i'd I'd really like our conversations to go in the line of like not just why it's important to me but what does what's the like iteration of calisthenics to me like what you know calisthenics means uh comes from two greek words callous and stance meaning beauty and strength and it's like okay so it actually doesn't you know like if you say uh football like you can you, it has a set number of rules and you go crossfit well there's a crossfit has these things and it's come and like mm. whatever whereas calisthenics 
it actually if it means beauty and strength or movement and strength like well then it could be and and you know by sort of by we can chuck in body weight as a bit of a depth into that definition in a way of like it's body weight training you go well so actually that could look like a lot of different things to different people and i think that's one of the beauties of it and one of the whys of it for me as a as a coach because it's not like okay this is this is this is calisthenics and like you need to do it to the to to, to our members or the clients it's like no this is calisthenics it's wide and like okay for you it's these elements that you really like and you really need and for someone else it's these other elements and then you can you know it's not that's one of the things i love about it it's so it's so malleable it's so it's so wide that it really can let everybody find which bits of it resonate most with them which bits of it their body needs the most um, and it's not going to constrict us to stay in one stay down one path and i think for my own learning over not just the last year since we started trying to do some calisthenics in like 2014 which started for me as like seeing Frank Medrano looking ridiculously ripped, doing like insane <laughs> things that you're like, where's gravity gone? Why is this dude not playing by the rest of the rules that the rest of us live by mm. in science of like gravity? And, and that like just captured my imagination of like what the body could do. And it's probably been a bit of an ever growing iteration of that, but it's changed over the years from, and, and, and for me now it dows much more into like, what does my body need and listening to my body and like calisthenics for me doesn't have to be the same as what calisthenics is for Frank Medrano, but there might be elements that we're the same and we're going to, there's going to be certain bits that we, that we, that we all love the same and joins us all together. Um, but understanding what, what it can give my body and how it's such a usable training method, um, is where, is where I've got to. And that's one of the things that, yeah, that I'd encourage people to do is like, think about not just the why is it important? Or why do I like doing it? But like, what elements of it are going to serve me the most? And sometimes what mm. serves me the most is not what I really want to do. Because I find it hard. So but but my, my body is telling me like, you need to sort this area out, because it is restricting you and then it's going to let you have more freedom, enjoy whatever other things you go on and do. I'm going to go a level deeper with this one, I think, because there's the, there's, a, there's the process of the um, the five whys, isn't there? So, like, if you say, why do you like calisthenics? You go, okay, because it makes me feel pretty good and it gives my body what, what it needs. You go, like, well, why? And and then you, you keep asking <laughs> five times, and then they say that you're going to probably get down to the crux of what, what it actually is. So I'm just thinking about some people, what is the attraction of calisthenics? So if I think things that I like, I well, like the flexibility of it, like, why? So I don't have to go somewhere all the time be worried about a gym. I can take my gymnastics rings. And they go, well, why? And you, yeah. you keep kind of trying to drill it down. And I think that's the thing. Like, if it gets down to, well, I want more time. Okay, well, time is a precious mm -hmm. resource. Why do you want more time? Uh, because I've got a family and kids and I've got a business. Okay, why is that important? Well, those things need more time. I want to grow them. Like, it's that whole thing. Sometimes people are like, why do you want to go to a gym to train? Well, because it just gets me out of, yeah. away from those things. I need space for myself. So I think, like, just asking yourself, like, what it is about why you do what you do. And, and if you say, well... I do calisthenics because it makes me look a certain way or you like, I like, I do calisthenics because when I'm around people at a barbecue, I can do a handstand. <laughs> like, why is that important? Like, because you like attention. It's okay. If you do like there's no, Jacko is perfectly on board with doing things for attention. Why learn a human flag? <laughs> exactly. Um, so I, I just kind of like reflecting on like, why do I do calisthenics? Well, it, it is a massively accessible. I love the fact that you can give me a set of gymnastics rings and I'll get as good a workout as anybody in a fully equi equi equipped gym. And the, my rings cost me 30 quid. And the why behind that is not that I'm tight. It's just, it's like, we all like things that are good value. Like, um, and if you, and I, and I really like the idea that I can just go and find a tree to hang on. Like that for me is like, it, it brings it into the, what kind of physique and body do I want? Well, I want one, which is, which is functional. I was chatting to Andrew Tracy about this actually recently. We were like going, the most functional thing that you can do is not be in pain. Like, so when people kind of go, oh, I'm doing functional training, but my knee hurts. Well, that's not that functional, is it? Because what you're doing is now making you more dysfunctional mm -hmm. in life. So I think the flexibility of what you get with calisthenics, the management of your own body weight, particularly around the upper body, is just like you are only ever able to play in the field 
or at, to a level of which you are able to play. So your body is going to tell you whether, when you are strong enough to do something the next level. And you really have to earn that. And people will argue that you can do that in weightlifting as well, that you can only go and do the next weight when you've built the strength. But the thing that's different about calisthenics is it respects the whole mm. chain. There is a movement component to it. You can bench more weight and you can still have a horrible shoulder range of motion inflection patterns or you could you could squat more but your knees are going to kind of like be a little bit bendy in and whatever but it's, the thing with it i think around it is it's just it really is you have to have you have to move well you have to be stable and you have to be strong and when you can do those things then you get to kind of go and do more and i think like i, I just see a point around like what it looks like for each individual person calisthenics for me over the last year particularly has not been about skills like I don't have a burning desire at the moment to learn new skills. Um, I like playing around with the skills that I've got, but the focus for me has just been, and it's probably to do with just the pandemic and being training at home and, and the kind of the repetition of it. Whereas I just, skill training for me has become hard because I need to pr apply so much mental yeah. energy to it. To the, to, with the level that I'm at now, like it's, and it's the same for people when you're just starting out, but you don't get those quick wins like you do when you're a beginner. So for me to go and learn something, I've really got to dial into that process because what I'm trying to do is actually like pushing, pushing my physical capabilities and limitations. Um, whereas just getting away with some relatively more basic volume training, like I like how it makes me Bulk feel, I like how it makes me look, the Bulk and Bendy program. Um, and, and that for me is like, that's ticking the boxes at the moment for me um, because I don't have the bandwidth for it. Why I don't have the bandwidth? Because life has been pretty mental for the last two years. So I think it's uh, just uh, interesting points and I like that there have some really good comments on the community recently of people just going, yeah, I've also just taking a step away yeah. from smashing myself with plans training or muscle training because it's I just feel like I need a break from it. That's perfectly okay. There was a time when my identity was completely wrapped up around calisthenics, at least of being able to do certain yeah. things. It's not yeah. like that anymore. Yeah, there was, uh, I forget, I forget the chap's name, um, sent a message, um, uh, this week in about, um, he'd been working on the frog to handstand for quite a while. Um, sort of identified that needs probably a little bit more. I think he'd listened to the um, Mastering the Basics podcast around like, okay, can I get, uh, maybe I, I think I need to build my foundation strength a little bit more, like just dial back for- He was Nick or Dave. Have, have a, Nick, Nick yeah, have Dave. a, have yeah. a, have a little break from like the, um, the specificity of the frog to handstand and um, is looking forward to the six week uh, but a basics program in, in, in January to just have a like, okay, make a commitment, right? I'm going to do those six weeks, build up that base, and then I'm going to come back to um, and use that basic strength back in towards the thing that I'm quite excited about doing. And it's my sort of like goal that I've set um, of uh, of the frog to handstand. And, and that's, that's, that's a process we've been through multiple times. I've had stuff where um, yeah. I've not done something for ages and just left it alone. And then like you come back to it and it's like, oh, it feels better. So long as we've inv it's periodization, right? Yeah, sports, exactly. right? We'd, we'd talk about that. We'd say that's periodization. Different phases of training to to accumulate together to to achieve something yeah. greater. Right? Yeah, yeah, and it's and that's one of the things where even just for some people, even just having like a little bit more regulation around like um, deload weeks or rest weeks. Yeah, you know? hence why in the, the period you know, periodization, the the programs inside uh, for online members that we've got where. We have this like these modules that are four weeks long that build up progressively, and then you know week week four is a deload or a sort of like can even be it could be a total rest week if you want to. But having that little bit of structure for us when we're trying to do some of these things is just massively helpful. Um, otherwise, it's far too easy if you haven't got a coach or a, a trainer or you're not working as part of like a team within a system where it's like you could train every day if you had time and and never have a week off. And what you'll find is that the, the body just needs these, these sort of like peaks and troughs in, in terms of being able to then actually recover and, and then perform again. That's an interesting question though, because we've had that a lot over the years of people who don't want to take weeks off. They don't want a down week, a deload week, a rest week, yeah. whatever it is. And ask yourself why you don't yeah. want to take a deload week. Well, we, because you've got an addiction to training, you don't feel good unless you train. We all yeah. have that. We need to learn to accept that rest yeah. is part of and that. then you go why on that take it and then that then yeah, you go well, yeah, so, okay yeah. why am i okay because there's some i don't know you go why am i addicted to training yeah then 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 you start asking yourself some some quite challenging yeah, questions but, 
Yeah, for me, because I've because I've talked about this before, I'm, I have this issue because I have a body with dysmorphia problem. If I don't train, I don't think I feel like I look good. Like, that's why I often will keep training and keep pushing because that's where the root kind of comes from. I've got mental health problem, <laughs> basically. I shouldn't laugh about um, it. Um, you've been... No, no, no but it's no, true. Like, nice. And there's been lots of people out there the same. And then you also go, if you don't, if you want to take a rest week, your why is that you don't actually don't understand training principles that well. Mm. So you need to educate yourself better because you cannot progressively overload and continue to get better. It is a physiological fact. Mm. You have to allow the body to recover. That's how it works. So if you don't deload, you're just grinding yourself down and actually you're stunting your own potential yep. because you're not allowing the, the, the opportunity for the body to adapt to stimulus and therefore move you forwards. Yep. So it's, there's, there's so much within this of just... Yeah. But spend a bit of time when everything quietens down a little bit and gyms are closed and, and you have a, a rest week and you're probably now sat here worrying it because you've eaten too much chocolate <laughs> over the last thing you're like and feel terrible like, i'm probably one of those people um but just i think there's a real value in just sometimes going why do i do what i do right now yeah. and you why can change right yeah, yeah. a little bit sometimes yeah. um it doesn't have to be the same all the yeah. time that's there's there's i've got my i've got my two takeaways from today's podcast one understand your training enough as to to why you need to have deloads and why that's actually going to help you progress. And then, and, and what you said, the ask, ask why, ask why five times, or maybe I'm almost thinking actually ask why enough times until you start to feel uncomfortable. Cause I think when you ask it, you ask it enough times, you'll get to a, a, a why of like, Oh, now I feel uncomfortable asking myself that question of why, because it's actually, it's making me think far deeper than I previously thought about myself. Do you know what I mean? I've gone way below. It becomes hard to answer. Yeah. Like if I did that with you now and said five things, you'd probably get to two or three and be like, oh, I don't know, I need to, and then you're gonna have to yeah. go and do some work. So you, you take an example, you go, why do you wanna do calisthenics? Oh, cause I wanna, I wanna learn a handstand. Why do you wanna learn a handstand? Oh, cause I think it looks cool. Okay, so why is that important to you? Well, I kinda wanna feel what I can do with my body. I wanna teach myself something new and I probably quite like it when other people look at me and think I can do something cool and okay. So you're like, where's, right, that, yeah. where's that coming from? And, then it's, and that, that's okay, yeah, like yeah. to socially have that and to be different and to be able to do these things. Like that's that's not a problem. Yeah. It's just it's well for me. You go it, like calisthenics. When you, becomes, well, to point when you get back to stage, you go where well, you're having that blip in your handstand training. You've hit that plateau, which will happen where you have to grind through it. Knowing why you started to do a handstand in the first place will probably go a long way to yeah. serving you through to actually finishing the process. We, we talk about that with our athletes all the time. Why do you swim? Because it's hard, right? You're in that mid cycle point. It's gruesome. It's five o'clock in the morning when you go into the pool. Why do you do this? And it's that which that you've got to lean on when things get hard to get you through to the end, which when you can do a handstand for the first time or on request, or you can do it to showboat, you are going to be absolutely loving it and thankful that you saw yeah. that process through and it all stems from knowing why you started. Yeah. I ju you just made me think I didn't, I wasn't going to make another point, but just, you've, you've, you made a really good point there that I want to just highlight of like, I've, we've talked a lot about calisthenics being a great tool for like teaching you about your body, you know, what can you do with it and what can't you do with it and, and why. And then when you were talking, when you were going through that series of like asking those questions, why, and you got down to like, a point with that like handstand example of like like someone potentially if i feel nice when people i'm perceiving that people think it's cool that why well, i can do this thing that i also think is cool and it's like why is that and it's it's then sort of teaching us something about our that process of asking those questions of why it's like teaching us something about ourselves and our sort of psychology if you dare go that deep of going like so what why is that why is my self-confidence like that and what's what yeah you may not get to the actual bottom of that but i think it's it's useful to be vulnerable enough with yourself to like to at least go there and entertain it um yeah yeah the, the many dimensions let's of leave calisthenics that. yeah let's uh, let, let, let that let resonate and ponder sing. so go on sure i'm gonna keep it short this week because it's well, quite like, go away and think about go away and think about why why i, why I uh, yeah some people are going to wake up and you're going, right, why do I do those things? <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's you, that's cool. Go and find something else that, that fulfills you and, and, and uh, brings you that joy and, and excitement and happiness. That's what it's all about, yeah. right? That's When you get down to it, like, what do you enjoy? Yeah, that's yeah, a pretty yeah. good thing to that. Why do I, why do you do that? Because I enjoy yeah. it. Okay, well, what, why do you enjoy it? <laughs> then you start, you why can become really annoying it? with it. 
go and do enough work to a place where you feel a little bit uncomfortable and you've just found out something about yourself and um, and then just hold on to that when you go and when times get tough yeah. you'll, it'll see you through um, and we just want to sign off by saying if if your why brings you down the route of going like okay the thing I'm the thing I'm going to try and do is probably going to take me more than just a few weeks um, having the annual membership with us for all of our online programs for just less than 75 quid on the standard membership with that 25 percent off you can bag that with the, the code for the discount code for that is new year 25 so new year 25 all in capitals and the link is in the show notes so you can just click straight through uh, to grab that offer and we look forward to seeing you online within the online community of amazing fake people that are part of our, uh, our memberships and uh, we look forward to seeing you in there Perfect. Enjoy New Year. I believe this is going out between Christmas and New Year. Yes. Um, so until we speak to you again, keep exploring your physical potential with movement, strength and play. Class dismissed until 2022.